Greetings, here are the new recommended episodes. Working out, losing weight, maybe using tanning spray, becoming more attractive in general. Reading more, watching less, learning all the rules for chess, becoming somewhat smarter in general. Eating fish, not fingernails, volunteer to save the whales, becoming a better guy in general. Saving more, spending less, yes, I will wax my chest, dating more girls in general. But not this year, no, this year is different, as different as a gazelle, yes, a gazelle from a deer. After all these failed resolutions, my future is clear, the future is near. Just forget those resolutions, you know that you are never gonna On the correct feet Just raise the bar to walk effortlessly underneath Also, here are some good abridged videos not on YouTube. Now for the top 20. Number 20 is from Welcome to NHK, Episode 3 by Cardboard Lawyer. I'm sorry, Yamazaki. Don't apologize to me! Apologize to the hundreds of horny teenagers who have to go and buy a goddamn Playboy because of you. I mean, look at yourself! The internet is draining your life force as payment for your blasphemy. Oh my god. Doesn't the internet do that to everyone? Number 19 is from Bleach, Episode 2 by Light09. Bitch, what I say about Get out the way! Oh, I'm sorry, Ichigo. I guess I'm just too dumb or that my boobs are too big for me to understand the world around me. I'll be sure to get, get out the way next time. It must be really hard for Matsumoto then. Number 18 is from Hell Girl, Episode 2 by Peace Porridge Cold. Guys. What did, what did I say, I say about, about mocking the client to their face? face? We, we just, just had a meeting about this. Do me a favor, treat, treat the client with courtesy and respect, respect until the motherfucking dumbass leaves the room. So, like every job then. Number 17 is from Thatch Bell, Episode 9 by Boring Yukumi. Kalulu, your bath's up! Because it's still normal to bring little girls home, give them baths, and let them sleep in your bed. That's how I met my parents. Some air just weren't meant to last. Number 16 is from Code Geass, Episode 5 by CGTAS. So you're going to kill the guy because he made a stupid blunder? Stupid blunder? He helped the killer escape and then rented like a Tourette's version of Fred Flintstone for three hours straight. Tonight, men, rally your summer lads. It's time to pick off an orange. You fools! A quip about slicing would be far more ironic. Number 15 is from Twilight Princess, episode 16, by Anno Zemeck. Link, I'm not crazy. Sure, Midna, you're not crazy. <gasps> What's that in my hand? It's a piece of candy. Link, that's a sedative. No, Midna, it's candy. Magical, happy candy. It'll take you to Unicorn Land. I thought only Acid did that. Number 14 is from Minish Cap, episode 4, by Nivet1212. I'd like to stay alive, so, uh, well, if you would like to jump into this lava, that would be fine with me. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> you almost hit me that time. Number 13 is from Sailor Moon, episode 41 by Megami33. Now it's my turn! Let me tell you once again who's fat. Number 12 is from Rosa Versailles, episode 18 by Cassius614. What are you, um, doing here? Well, I'm actually getting engaged to this woman my dad picked for me. Oh, that's... congratulations. I and apparently these birds as well are very upset. So that was the reason the bird. Number 11 is from Devil May Cry, episode 18 by Son of Sparta 13. Yes, Rondo! Drinking 
Rondo lets you do dangerous things, like riding a pony! Which doesn't sound very dangerous at first, except the pony's 300 feet tall! And covered in chainsaws! Brando plus Dante equals Godhood. Number 10 is from Princess Tutu, episode 13, by Tutu on a Bridger. What? Oh shit! What were you saying about screwing destiny? I wished the singing would come back! Aren't you dead yet? Man, I'm sure glad I had that V8. Which is better for you than Brando? Number 9 is from Death Note, Episode 16, by One Kids Entertainment. Two to three times the size of all local buildings, our new headquarters is the ideal way to investigate Kida without drawing too much attention to ourselves. I ordered it with next day's shipping, so we should be able to move in by next week. How'd you get the money for all this? Internet. Al must have found out what Phase 2 is. Number 8 is from Rama One Half, Episode 12, by ZOMG Roller. Arr I'll protect you from the Psycho Stalkers, darling! Hmm, I approve this pairing. Alright, we have a shipper! This means we're officially a couple in the eyes of some fans. Rama might be the most shippable character ever. Number 7 is from Evangelion, Episode 9, by Konada Productions. Man, this Otto guy sure loves his sexual tension. And pairing up with people twice their age. Guess he's going for that status quo kiss. <sighs> Mine was much hotter with Takun, though. Wait a second, you knocked me unconscious! Unconscious boys can't say no, either. Number six is from Poke the Six Shot by Flying Bandicoot. Pikachu, you serial murder! Ash should have played Hillary. Number 5 is from Code Geass, Episode 7 by Geass TS. We're losing forces! Is this Zero? Dude, not everything is done by Zero. If a vending machine ate your quarter, it wasn't because of Zero. Zero! Zero must need quarters, too. Number 4 is from Vision of Escafoni, Episode 17 by HBI2K. Oh my god, you're... Hi, I'm Nappa, and this is Varee. She's an angel. I'm not an angel, Nappa. I'm an Atlantean. Yeah, an Atlangel. Well, a lot of characters do look like angels. Number three is from Sonic X, Episode 1, by Darkseid Incorporated. Eggman's robots. We do what we must, because we are told to. For the good. Up, all of us, and because we will get paid. We should totally release an album or something. Damn straight, son. Good singers, but they're no Nappa. Number two is from Last Fleet, episode five, by Immortal. Save me! Save me! No, save, save me! me. You yeah, bitch. I know, I have kidnapped you, but I've seen you, but come on! I you Look at this face! How could you say no to this face? Oh, apparently quite easily. Well, shit. Sometimes being adorable ain't enough. And number one is from Yu-Gi-Oh! Episode 45 by Card Games FTW. And oh look, a shiny box! I must worship it! Sorry, baby, but I'm a rebel. A loner, if you will. And I can- Kill your family! Kill your family! Kill your family! Eric, are you alright? Must. Kill family. What's the matter, kid? You never seen the Kill Your Family show before? It's almost as good as Hypnotoad. First is Code by PL Shield. It has very strong editing and a good team to provide the voices. The second is Rain the Conqueror by Gordian Thong. The series involves many accomplished uh, bridgers and clever writing behind it. The next video should be in mid-February. Farewell.